<laughs> what the hell? Okay, I swear, this is the first time, y'all, this is the first time that I hold my camera in like a couple months. Sorry, but I will fill you in on all that. But um, I just, so in my room, this is what I just see outside. Not really sure what's happening there. Um, hi guys, hello. I know it's been a hot minute and I know I look like a nice little homeless person, but it's fine. Um, so, number one question you're probably asking, where the heck have you been? Well, right now it is April 13th, I think. And we are in quarantine because of the coronavirus, as you all know. Um, I live in Louisiana, so we, we've had a stay-at-home order since like the middle of March, but I think that was kind of mostly everyone, but like I especially, fun fact guys, I quit my job, my nannying job back in January, like the end of January. So I had been jobless <laughs> for already. I had already been home for like a whole month because I had got my wisdom teeth out. I'm just gonna catch you guys up really quick. So let's back, back, back it up to the end of January. I quit my job. Love, love, love the little boy. It just didn't work out the way we wanted, but it's totally fine, guys. Um, so, and then I was originally gonna go back to work at my mom's shop, but that ended up not happening. So then I was just looking for a different job. And um, right as I was about to get one, uh, I lie, scratch that. So I had quit and then literally the next week, I was getting my wisdom teeth out, which were both on this side, top and bottom. It was very weird. I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't handle the pain medicine. And yeah, I think I already told y'all that in my last video. But anywho, so after that, I was looking for a job. And then I almost finally had one, y'all. I went on the interview. She wanted to hire me on the spot. But I was the first one she interviewed. So she was like, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to see a couple more people. And then we'll go from there. Well, then... The, cor the coronavirus got like way worse and she was unable to offer the job to anybody. So she was like, you're still in my top three. Like I still have you in mind, blah, blah, blah. In the meantime, we all had to stay home. So you're probably thinking, well, Tara, you had a bunch of time to make YouTube videos. I know that. Thank you so much. But um, unfortunately, I kind of just got like, after staying home, after being down for like a week, cause I was like in my mode and then I got my wisdom teeth out and I was literally just like, like the whole month of February. And then like started to get my, my, my groove back a little bit. And then it went back to being poop. So, I mean, it's life guys. You get unmotivated, you get down, you know, I mean, times like this, it's really, really, really crazy and uncertain. So it's like kind of wild. So I am back and it makes me feel so good that I have the camera back in front of me. So um, while you were gone, I got, and please excuse the mess. This is gonna be a like clean with me vlog, day in the life type of thing because I have a lot of laundry to do. I have a couple errands to run that I can run. And, um, and then I'm just gonna be cleaning out my room a little bit because quarantine got the best of me, okay? So. New addition to my room. I got this super cute. This was before quarantine. I got this just don't mind Matthew's PlayStation and whatnot. Um, I got this super cute desk from Target. It was like $130. Super freaking cute. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. So got that. What else has happened, y'all? It's been like literally two months. And I'm sorry for that. I'm never, ever, ever gonna do that again. Okay? No, like I seriously promise. Yeah, so I look... Exactly, this is real. This is the tea. Y'all are going to see exactly what I've been doing. Um, you're also probably wondering, okay, so what have you been doing for the past two months? Um, watching the Vampire Diaries <laughs> again for like the fifth time. And I'm so sorry for it, but no, I'm not sorry. Because, you know, sometimes you just need a little, you just need a little time to chill. And that's what I've been doing. And then I started getting back into my YouTube a little bit. And I was like, you know what? Today's the day. I'm going to film. It's going to be great because I miss editing so much. So a lot better content will be coming to you soon. Promise. Okay. So today we're just going to do kind of like a day in the life. I'm going to go run a couple errands. And then I'll see you back here when I am done. So I can start doing laundry and cleaning and all the fun stuff. Okay. 
All right, guys, hello, I am back. And I'm gonna be making, let me back it up just a little bit. Um, so I know I mentioned in my last video that I sell Arbon and all that good jazz. I honestly don't even remember what I said in my last video, but I think I did mention Arbon. Anyway, so I'm gonna be making, it's past lunchtime and I need to eat something, but I also needed to get started on what I gotta do. So I'm gonna be making me a shake. They do normally give, keep me pretty full. I love, this is their protein, the vanilla protein powder. It's vegan, it's a plant-based pea protein. It's super, super good for you and it does keep me full. So today, normally I like to do it with a banana, but we are out, so I have some strawberries right here. Um, so I just use eight ounces of almond milk and I normally put my powder in first. I do two scoops. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna be starting to, I'm gonna be start. I can't even talk. Maybe I should learn to talk first. Um, I will be starting my, Arbonne has like a little 30 day challenge that you do. And I'm not kidding you when I tell you I feel my absolute best when I'm doing my 30 days or at least just eating right. I eat so good with on my challenge. And lately I've been eating like crap and my stomach is suffering for it. So, um, and normally when I'm doing my stuff in my Digestion Plus, which is amazing. Let me see if it'll put focus. So this is Digestive Plus, and it's basically your prebiotics and probiotics, and it's live digestive enzymes. When I tell y'all this stuff saves my life, like I'm not kidding. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've told y'all before that I have Crohn's. If not, news to you guys, I have Crohn's disease, which is a, an immune system. Uh, an immune system. It's a um, autoimmune disorder, and basically, I just have certain foods I can't eat, like uh, greasy, fried, like spicy. I just I know what I can and can't eat. But when I tell you that the Digestive Plus saves my life, like I'm not even kidding. So I need to get back on that because I've been having a little bit of issues. So it's time to get back on track. So I'm just gonna put some strawberries in there. Um, these are whole strawberries. I should have bought the half ones, but it's fine. Um, so then I'm going to put in my Digestive Plus. And they also have, it's called Daily Fiber Boost. It's literally what it is. It's just a daily little, it's flavorless, odorless, and colorless fiber. It's good for you. So I just put a little bit of there. And then they also have, this is my favorite, because I used to take so many vitamins, like the actual pills. This is their whole food blend and multivitamin and mineral boost. This is one of my favorites, because you literally just put it in your shake once a day, and you get all the vitamins that you need. So I usually do that, and then I just do a little splash of vanilla extract, because, you know, to make it sweeter. And normally I put ice, but since it has frozen strawberries, I think I'm just gonna, I'll put a little bit. Well, the ice maker's not working, so anyway. So, all you gotta do is just put it on, shake it up like this. And I will eventually do a um, dedicated Arbonne video, but if you guys are interested in buying any of the products that I just mentioned, I will leave my Arbonne link below, and you just click it and you can buy from there. Ready, and... All right, I think it's good. I love, first of all, I bought this magic bullet, which is basically just like the neutral bullet, but it's just cheaper. But this works just as good. Um, but I love this thing instead of using the big old blender. Let's see. It's a lot thicker than I normally do, but it's because I have the frozen strawberries. But yeah. So I'm going to drink this as my lunch and get started. <sighs> All right, guys. This is it. It's time. So just a little backstory. Um, a couple weeks ago... I decided to clean out my closet, which was very much needed, but when I tell you, like, I cleaned it out, like, got rid of absolutely everything I did not need, because what else is there to do, right? So that also included, like, just stuff that I had in my room from, like, when I was little. Like, um, I don't know, this guitar that I bought in Nashville. Yeah. So, I tried to sell it, but no one, no one budged. So, I'm just going to give it away. But, um, so, yeah. And then also, this nice, big, 
pile of clothes under that blanket and stuff. It's all clothes that I took pictures of to sell, but, and some people did buy some stuff. No one else really bought anything else. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go and donate it to Goodwill. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to put it all in bags and just get it out. <laughs> so now you see it. Okay, let's get this party started. This is a better angle and kind of better lighting. Sorry guys, but anyway, so. Uh, so these are like all the clothes that were a little more expensive side, like boutique clothes and stuff that I didn't want to get rid of just yet. But, and they all have hangers. Why did I keep them on hangers? I don't know. But here we go. it on the floor see yeah and that and the reason they were even on the floor in the first place is because who sorry um when i was selling everything i didn't have a place to put it all oh, i look really rough anyway um i didn't have a place to put it all so i kind of just put it on the floor and as people wanted stuff i would just take it and whatnot but then people stopped buying it and it just sat there so yeah there's more in the closet so that's where we're gonna go Okay, y'all, so what y'all just saw, what y'all just saw me do was kind of go through my palettes that were in here because surprisingly it goes pretty deep. But um, like these, I'm probably gonna get rid of, and <laughs> these are the ones that I'm gonna keep. Uh, just because I basically went through when I was going through everything else, I had started going through my makeup, so I already went through all of that, and this is all stuff that I use anyway, so. I just needed to finish doing my palette so i'm probably going to give that away to either my mom or my sister whoever wants it and yeah <sighs> i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of tired oh and i had this swiffer because you know that stuff was dusty that's how much i didn't know it was back there so yeah that's always fun and fresh but yeah all right guys so i think that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching um and also just wanted to shout out that in over my little break that i had um i got up to 171 subscribers so thank you guys so much for that and keep it coming because i promise i will be having the content come more now than ever so 
stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.